Hi guys, Richard here, another explore. Let's we'll check out uh, this battery site. Do a quick walkthrough, see what we can discover inside. Yeah, this is the place where I captured an EVP of a rather angry sounding man. And he said, get out. He did not like us being in here. Anyway, we'll travel through. We're not here to disrespect anybody. We just want to check out this landmark. Just a quick walk through. It's raining, it's leaking, and uh, it's just a quick video for everybody to view. It's an amazing old time capsule. Very rusted. You can see the birds are being nesting away in there. This one's fallen off. Give them way. You can see the rust and decay there. You can actually see the seam of the weld where it's come undone. Possibly even might have been a seam of rivets. You can see there's some rivets there, some in the older style rivets that they used to use in the early 1900s. Very old. You can see all the boxing here. They've used rough sawn timber to box it all up. You can see sections of wood. Considering this is all made out of a pour of concrete, probably a multiple pours, not all done at one time, it's very well done. Probably just cut down some native New Zealand timber wood to make all this. I formed all the archways. You can see the sections of each wood that they've done to section up and over and do this. I wouldn't imagine that there would be any steel reinforcing in here like they do in today's standards. In fact, this is all standing. It's amazing. And um, you can see that some other ruins of batteries over here. Bit of a cave over there. I don't think there's anything worthwhile exploring over there. Yeah, it's just, it's amazing. And uh, you see it's all overgrown down here. It runs out into the Karangahaki Gorge stream. But yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm, I'm Richard. And uh hope you enjoyed the watch. Feel free to to share. You have my permission. Thank you.